responses and then we'll take the next round. Okay, so um, can I respond to your submissions because I wanted to directly respond. I was actually thinking about this coming here because I thought that it was going to be one of the, the, the coming questions, how do we even start to decolonize science because science is true because it is science and you know, what can you do? And my, my response to that was if I personally were committed to enforcing decolonization, science as a whole is a product of Western modernity and the whole thing should be scratched off, especially in Africa. So if you want, if you want practical solutions to how to decolonize science, we'd have to restart science from, I don't know, an African perspective, from our perspective of how we've experienced science. For instance, uh, I had a question for all the science people. Is uh, There's a, a place uh, in Kezer, in Mkabialingana, and they believe that through uh, the magic, the black magic, you call it black magic, they call it witchcraft to others, that you are able to send a lightning to strike someone. So can you explain that scientifically? Because it's it something that happens. <laughs> 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 Um, I, I need to address you directly. When we started this, we, ag we agreed on certain house rules. Okay. And by you doing that, you're disrespecting the sacredness of the space. And so I'd like to ask you to first please apologize Sorry. to the panel directly. And then number two, understand the rules that we went by in this space because it's going to be very problematic. This, when we started, this is not an antagonizing space. And so what you're trying to do is collapse this space and make it antagonizing, which we will not allow. This is a progressive space for people to say their opinions. And we have noted how those opinions are going to be laid out. So I would like you to first apologize and then go on and agree to abiding by the rules of the space Otherwise, I'd not, I'd, I would, if you're not willing to do that, I'd please ask you to remove yourself from this space. But th those are the rules of engagement of this space. Okay, I'm very sorry to the panel. Okay, and you agree to abide by the rules of this space. Thank you. Please okay. carry on. So I will finish. See, that very response is the reason why I am not in the science faculty. I did science throughout my high school years, and there was a lot of things that I just, um, yeah, but it's fine. But Western modernity, is the direct antagonistic factor to decolonization because Western knowledge is totalizing. It is saying that it was Newton and only Newton who knew or saw an apple falling and then out of nowhere decided that gravity existed and created a, an equation and that is it. For the re whether people knew Newton or not or whether whatever happens in Western Africa, Northern Africa, the thing is the only way to explain gravity is through Newton who sat under a tree and saw an apple fall. So Western modernity is the problem that decolonization directly deals with to say that we are going to decolonize by having knowledge that is produced by us, that speaks to us, and that is able to accommodate knowledge from our perspective. So if you're saying that you disagree with her approach, it means that you are vested in the Western and Eurocentric way of understanding, which means you yourself still need to go back internally, decolonize your mind, come back and say, how can I re-look at what I've been studying all these years? Because Western knowledge is very pathetic to say the least. I, from a decolonized perspective, believe we can do more as new knowledge producers, as people who are given the ability to reason or whatever uh, is that people say we do when we think or rationalize. So decolonizing the science would mean doing away with it entirely and starting all over again to deal with how we respond to the environment and how we understand it. Thank you. We are all willing to call you whatever gender and not identity you want. But then you guys believe that you're not smiling, bitch. What you want?
can I ask? Can I ask why you guys are taking them down? Okay. Um, we are here today to call out, um, as you're all aware, uh, Jordan B. Peterson for um, his refusal to respect the uh, pronouns of his transgender students. Um, Jordan B. Peterson has made it clear that he feels that he um, has the authority to dictate the gender identities of uh, his students, which we are here to say that he does not. Um, Lauren Sutherland uh, is not a uh, is not a member of the transgender community. Um, they're here with an with I'm assuming an uh, alt right uh, media organization. Yeah, yeah. Did you want to do an interview about this? I'm trying to get all opinions. You know, I think we're supposed to prioritize trans and non-binary voices. So I'm just more interested in what so you're So are, are you binary then? I am not. Well, let me prioritize your voice. I don't think that's fair as a white cis woman. I think I'm actually not cis, but that's what does that mean? I'm saying that's not fair for me as a white cis woman. So you're trans then, or you're non-binary. Didn't you just say you're non-binary? You asked me if I was, and I said no, I'm cis. Oh, okay, you're you cis. You're not okay. cis. So I'm you think it's unfair to talk because you're cisgender? No, I'm supportive of the trans community and I think that it's important that we listen to trans and non-binary voices first. Hi. You think everyone's opinion matters equally? Not in this house. <laughs> <laughs> Like, like if you're willing, if you're willing to be educated, I'm willing to teach. But if you're not willing to listen no, 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 to I'm what I have to say, you aren't necessarily an educator, though. That's the problem. Every, everyone, everyone, I know, I know. I'm exactly. Saying, so we're gonna maybe as us spoke. as trans people, we have a little bit more. We have more understanding <laughs> than we have more knowledge on this subject than other people do. We have. The you don't have to go on the sun to talk about the sun. You can look into it. You can read the statistics. But someone who has been closer to the sun would have a better experience. Yeah, I think they'd be dead to be honest. Yeah, they would, but that's what, but like, if they wouldn't, they would have more to say. I can tell you how hot the sun is without going to the sun, I'll tell you right now. Um, yeah, but anyone can tell you how hot the sun is. Anyone can tell you trans people are trans. Have you gone to go have a discussion with Peterson? What he said was that he would not acknowledge our pronouns. That is not the same as saying he wants to have a discussion. And he said because and gave a reason. Now, if you went and asked him for more to have a debate on that, if I say I don't believe I the sky is green, to talk to him. I wouldn't be safe in that. You think he'd hurt you? A trans masculine person in a dress talking to transphobes is never safe, whether it's physical or verbal. Okay, so you're not willing to have a discussion because it wouldn't be a safe space. I am not willing to have a discussion about whether or not I am real and valid. As, as sympathetic as I am to the uh, trans and LGBTQ plus community's goals, uh, I am un I'm very... I'm also very disappointed to just hear my race, my own skin color, be attacked. Uh, I think that that's very inappropriate, and I don't want to be in the position in which I have to oppose Bill C-16, but simply due to the fact that I believe it's poorly written, the fact that refusing to ref uh, simply refusing to refer to someone's pronoun could constitute discrimination simply means the bill needs to be rewritten before it's examined. Uh, the, the ralliers, the protesters here keep referring to the fact that uh, they claim that Dr. Peterson has uh, said that non-binary people simply do not exist. In fact, that is not what he said. He has said that uh, gender, sex at birth, uh, gender expression and gender identity simply do not vary independently. That's simply the only claim he's made in his videos and he actually has made that very clear. So I highly encourage everyone to actually give the videos a watch before protesting. Many of the organizers actually informed me that they didn't. Uh, and I would also like to uh, say to anyone who wants to stop any sort of discrimination, not to yell at people based on their skin color, as just happened to me. Thank you very much. So, would you like to give your opinion? I mean, we just had someone scream at us that I'm interviewing too many white people, too many white men. Too many white people, way too many cis men. I, why is that a problem? I think you're going up to the straightest, cisest, whitest people you can find and trying to get their opinions on this. I just came up to you for your opinion. Now. <laughs> okay, well, it's good that you're listening to people uh, asking you to interview more people. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> Who actually has knowledgeable and informed opinions and people who don't have experience in this area are just less likely to we're talking about this free speech about giving the trans people voices <laughs> that's <laughs> why you interview trans people Holy actually God. i'm talking to people because i want to know whether they want a man to be fired i want to know about bill c16 i want to know what they think about campus freedom everyone here can give their opinion on whether they think this is a campus with free speech. Anyone, anyone of any skin color or gender can give that opinion. I want to learn. Here's the deal. I want to learn about you guys. I, I 
genuinely do. I so here's the deal. I, I was born in Toronto, raised in Pakistan. Okay. You need to realize that people who are gay over there get killed. Yeah, yes. okay, that's I'm, number a, one. I'm aware that's of the oppression that happens. That's, that's a, and I'm, I'm telling you this. Yes. I'm telling you this. I grew up over there. Okay. All right? I came about four years ago, and I need to learn. Right. Everybody who's oppressed right now, everybody who's, you know, I, you can be whoever. I, I support you guys. That's yeah, the number that's one great. thing you need to realize. Okay. If you want to be a Tyrannosaurus Rex tomorrow, you could be it. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. These are bigger issues. You, I don't care what you want to be. The, the thing is that to educate a crowd and know that they they want to be educated but the fact that you're just being offended like just the fact right now you just you just turned and you were like oh that's not like the, the too do you not realize that trans people get killed i am a social worker and i work with kids and i've seen and worked with trans youth that have been murdered over and over killed them all right and i yeah no. You're not listening. You're not taking time to listen. Uh, okay, one can I just just place? tell me when I'm just tell me when I'm allowed to speak. Why is this a place that you would come and instigate? Yeah. This is a place where people are talking about serious issues of death. I'm not even saying anything to that. I'm just sitting over here. No, sweetheart. Don't, don't even no. Why is this your space? Okay. Uh, we're, we're having a conversation. We're having a conversation. Why is this a space to do it? Why? He came over to talk to me quietly. Why, Why are you yelling at us? Because you came up and you in does this look like free speech <laughs> I don't Man. even know what to say. You know, it's just that you try, um, you try. I tried my best. I'm just listen to us because we're the people. I swear to God that's You can't scream listen at us while he's trying to ask him questions. I'm just going to shut down and we're going to Okay. But away, man. What are we calling? We're Marxist Thank you for being so polite. You're honestly a gem. Well, you know, you yeah. gotta kill him with kindness. Uh, not that I'm, I'm Lauren, by the way. Are you up for a quick interview after this, maybe? Sure. Yeah? Also, are you helping around? Hey guys, SJW Central here. I just wanted to make this video to check my privilege. So here we go.